A legendary coach once said, losing is only temporary and not all encompassing. You must simply study it, learn from it, and try hard not to lose the same way again. Then you must have the self-control to forget about it. That's wisdom from one of the greatest winners of all time, basketball coach John Wooden, who captured 10 NCAA titles at UCLA. But not every champion was as skilled as the Wizard of Westwood when it came to learning from a loss. Take Hall of Fame manager Tony La Russa, who won three World Series titles. While far less philosophical than Wooden, La Russa was equally eloquent when he said, losing sucks. I don't think people understand how bad it feels. You can bet the New Orleans Saints do. Oh, no! In the last three postseasons, they've suffered a hat trick of horrors, a trifecta of terror, Throw the flag! a three-peat of defeat on a level perhaps only the Buffalo Bills of the early 90s could painfully perceive. Regarding Wooden's advice, the Saints have indeed discovered how to not lose the same way again. Only because they keep experiencing more preposterous walk-off losses. What a way to end your season. I mean, I don't know if you can find the correct words to be able to describe what we just saw. As for having the self-control to forget about it? Ah, ow. Good luck with that. Who will ever forget the Minneapolis miracle? 10 seconds remain. 24-23 Saints. Vikings at their own 39. We need a Minneapolis miracle. Deep drop, steps up in the pocket. He'll fire to the right side. Caught by Diggs. Stay oh, oh, got loose. Oh that was 30, 10, touchdown! It's a Minneapolis miracle! We've seen this team lose in some heartbreaking fashion. None more so than that. When it was over, both teams' radio broadcasters asked the exact same question. But their inflections were as different as, well, winning. Are you kidding me? And losing. Are you kidding me? Perhaps the Saints only had themselves to blame for that loss. A year later, they pointed the finger at a man who didn't lift a finger to throw a penalty flag one of the worst no calls that I have ever seen in my football career. A minute 49 to go, third and 10 at the Rams 13, tie score. A touchdown surely sends the Saints to the Super Bowl, or they can get a first down, run the clock down, and kick a chip shot game winner as time expires. Third down and 10, Breeze from the gun, takes a snap, throws to the near side, hit early, where's the flag? You don't get one. Early hit on Tommy Lee, shot Payton is all the way down at the 10. Unbelievable no call. Wow, not a flag to be found. Clearly contact before the ball got there. Yeah, Sean Payton, he just simply cannot believe it, nor can anyone that's in the stadium watching this. If a flag is thrown there, the Saints have the ability to run the clock down to four seconds left and end the game with a field goal try. New Orleans settled for a field goal but there was ample time remaining for the Rams. The no call seemed no fair. It was a kick in the gut, and the Saints were kicked to the curb when Greg Zerline booted a 57-yarder in overtime. The Rams went to the Super Bowl. The Saints watched the NFL revise its rule on instant replay to include pass interference. In the legal world, they call that ex post facto, or after the fact. In the Big Easy, the translation is too little, too late. I don't know if there was ever more obvious pass interference. You know, we probably never get over it. A year later, it was overtime again. And the Vikings again. Their quarterback, Kirk Cousins, had never won a playoff game but he made sure the Saints never saw the ball in the extra session. Lob it to the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Kyle Rudolph. They got a review touchdown. 
The Saints wondering if there's going to be a review for a push off. And how ironic would that be if they give that a look? That's a full extension with the right arm by Kyle Rudolph. And they are not going to look at it. And this is a final absolute stunned silence here in New Orleans. You know, you, you, you invest so much into it and, and have invested so much into it. You know, and so you understand that these opportunities are, um, are few. So yeah, it's, it's disappointing. If you're not the one holding up the trophy at the end of the year, it's disappointing. More than a decade ago, Drew Brees did hold the Lombardi Trophy. You can bet the 20-year veteran still remembers what that moment felt like. It must be intoxicating. Like a nectar, you'd do anything to taste just one more time. Or a nirvana you long to revisit. Why else would Breeze and the so-close Saints be willing to endure so much pain?